1 over natural log of x plus natural log of natural log of x dx. Whew. How do we even integrate this? How do we even start? 1 over natural log of x, I don't think you can integrate this using elementary function. You can integrate natural log of x, and maybe we can get something out of how you can integrate natural log of x, but 1 over natural log of x changes things completely. Huh. Maybe, maybe we can let natural log of x be u. Try using substitution. u equals to natural log of x because I see two natural log of x residing within this integral. Maybe that's going to help us out. So why don't we try that? So you have 1 over u plus natural log of u. And you know, e to the u is equal to x. I'm rearranging this. I'm writing it using exponential form. So you know dx is going to be e to the u du. So we have dx being e to the u du. And how do we integrate this? You don't. That's way too hard. I don't think I can wrap my brain around this. How do we... Huh. Well, whenever you have a really complex function, Maybe you can get some ideas from looking at how to integrate an easier version or a function that looks similar to it. So how do you integrate natural log of x? Well, for natural log of x, you use integration by part. You are going to let u be natural log of x and dv be dx. And that's going to tell you du is going to equal to 1 over x dx, v is equal to x. And you know by integration by part from your calculus 2 class or calculus BC from high school, you know integral of u dv. And in our case, you have integral of u, natural log of x, dv, dx. We're letting u be natural log of x and dv be dx. And by integration by part, this thing is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So why don't we try applying that in this case? So we have integral of u dv, natural log of x, dx, being equal to uv. Well, our u is natural log of x and our v is x. The reason our v is x is because dv is equal to dx. If you guys do not see where I'm going with this, you're just integrating both sides and that gets you v is equal to x. So we have uv equal to x times natural log of x. You're multiplying these two. So x times natural log of x minus integral of v, which is x, and du, to find du, I'm differentiating u. And by differentiating u, you're going to differentiate natural log of x. And that's going to be 1 over x, and you want to put dx. And realize, when you, when you differentiate u, you're going to get 1 over x. When you integrate dv, you're getting x. So these are canceling out. So you just have 1 dx. And that's going to get us x natural log of x minus integrating 1 gets you x. So that's how you integrate natural log of x using integration by part, reverse product rule. And the reason it works so well for natural log of x is because du has 1 over x and v has x, which cancel out when you multiply them together. When you have v times du, x times 1 over x cancel out. So maybe we are using similar tactic in this, in this case. For natural log of natural log of x, you can maybe use integration by part. And maybe, maybe like natural log of x, 1 over x and x or something similar is going to cancel out and that's going to help us arrive at our solution. So let's try doing so. And I'm going to start by splitting this integral because that's cumbersome, having 1 over natural log of x dangling to natural log of natural log of x. So I'm just going to break this apart. And now let's focus on natural log of natural log of x dx. In this case, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to let natural log of natural log of x be our u, as we let natural log of x be our u in this case. And we are going to let dv be the rest, or dx. And du, differentiating this, gets you differentiating natural log of natural log of x, gets you 1 over natural log of x, 
times differentiating natural log of x by chain rule gets you 1 over x and that's going to go in the denominator so you have 1 over x times natural log of x dx and integrating dv to get v gets you simply x and realize when you do integral of v du you're going to cancel out this x and this x because you're multiplying v and du so maybe we are heading toward the right direction with this things are canceling out and in mathematics when something cancel out you have to smile because it's usually good let's continue this plus you by integration by parts formula you know that's uv so u times v natural log of natural log of x times x x times natural log of natural log of x minus integral of v du and these x's are cancelling out so you simply have 1 over natural log of x dx do you guys see it? I see it are things cancelling out? yes humongous things very troublesome 1 over natural log of x the integral of them are cancelling out you have plus that and minus that they cancel out and our answer is simply x times natural log of natural log of x so this crazy expression when you integrate it gets us x times natural log of natural log of x and to be precise plus c